Rebels. How are we doing? Is it still morning? It must be nearly morning. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's still got an hour. Yeah, so morning Rebels. How's everyone doing today? I am quickly going to run you guys through getting ready. So I have washed my face and moisturized this morning, but I have not a scary gun uh, of makeup. So this is me fully naked, I guess. For naked face anyway on the internet which is kind of a weird feeling anyway so I'm going to run you through a special deal that I do for all of my customers called the full face starter kit it essentially is all of the products you need to create a full face of Senegence. Uh so it comes in a cute little bag and there is a deal where essentially you are getting about a $30 saving from um, buying the products uh, separately. So it includes a, a tinted moisturizer or foundation of your choice, uh, a lip scent starter kit, so face, lips, and then it also includes a shadow scent, so that does your eyes. Um, and it's such a vers versatile product that if you purchase different shadow sensors they can also do different things for example today i'm going to be using mocha java which is a light sort of mid-range brown so i use that um, for my eyebrows for some light contouring to do some lids uh, and also as like a daytime liner and also include so the full face starter kit also includes a mascara of your choice um, and so essentially it's everything for your eyes, everything for your lips, and everything for your face. Pretty much covering everything for you. So I'm going to start putting it on now, give you a bit of a rundown of each of the products as we go. So, first things first, let's start with the Colour Correcting Tinted Moisturiser. So I'm using the, I don't know if you can see that, I'm using the light. So there's light and medium. Only comes in two colours, but because it's colour correcting, it adjusts to your natural skin tone, meaning that we don't really need to colour match. It's light or it's medium and you're good to go. This is an amazing product. It um so I only really use pump that's probably about a pump's worth, like so. And it, because it has a lot of green pigments in the makeup of this product, not that you can tell, it cancels out redness like nobody's business. So, and you can apply this with a brush or you can just rub it in, which is what I tend to do. I love our Colour Correcting Tint and Moisturiser. If I had to choose between that and our foundation, I would be pretty stuck because I love them both. They both do an amazing job. The foundation obviously gives you more heavy duty coverage, but this one smells amazing and does an incredible job of just evening out your skin tone, making you look just that slight bit more together. So, I'm just going to go down my neck slightly. So again, just like not even a full pump. But go down my neck to help make sure that everything's all blended in. So one of the awesome things about the Colour Correcting Tinted Moisturiser is it doesn't clog your pores. It is skincare that's tinted rather than a cosmetic. Well, it is a cosmetic, obviously, but it is good for your skin. It contains all sorts of... Hang on. I remember I read it in our book. This is our catalogue. It is my Bible for our products. Let me just double check what it was for the ingredient in there that I'm thinking of. Bear with me. Did I skip it? No. Found it. Okay. So, um, it also has our Cineplex complex in it, which is our anti-aging, uh, meaning that Whilst you're also using a cosmetic, you're you're um, essentially putting an anti-aging uh, skincare product on as well, which is amazing. And it has a sun shield in it. So it's a mechanical shield from the sun as opposed to a chemical. So it's not SPF, which is chemical based. It's like wearing a, a t-shirt on your face. Um, so we have done that. And... So I'm pretty happy with the coverage today because it's just a daytime wear. But if I wanted to increase coverage, I would let this dry 
and let it set essentially and then go back in with a little bit more. So I know that I don't get anywhere nearly enough sleep so I might come in sort of in this area and pat in just a little bit more product to even that all out. Beautiful. Okay, so skin done. Because it's just a daytime look, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not trying to build full coverage or anything like that. If you wanted more intense coverage, you would probably go for our foundation. So, in our little bag, in goes the uh, tinted moisturizer. So that's your first product, and you obviously pick which one you'd like from the full face starter kit. So, I am now going to go in and do my lips so that for anyone who's new and needs to see how a lip sense application works, uh, this is for you. So, first thing you do with lip sense is clean your lips. You want to have clean, dry lips because the way that lip sense works is that it molecularly bonds to the top layer of your skin. What that means is if you've got moisturizer, foundation, food, even just flaky skin, uh, it'll bond to that instead of to the fresh supple lip skin, meaning that um, as that wears off, so if say you've got moisturizer on, um, if that starts to smear off over the course of the day, the lip sense is gonna be stuck to that, not to your lip. Meaning that you won't get as long a wear as if you give your lips a nice clean, what a dry and clean and dry. So I just use face cloth, get it nicely wiped down, make sure it's dry. Okay, I'm going in with coral ice today, so it is like our most heavy duty color. Um, I love this color, and I was worried that I was going to have to retire it because I didn't have any left in stock. But they must have found a little box of it in the back of the warehouse because it's been available. I've grabbed a whole bunch, so. If anybody wants this amazing color, look at that. You just shoot me a message and we'll hook you up. Okay, so Lip Sense is a liquid lipstick that is long lasting. Again, molecularly bonds to the top layer of your skin. That's how it works. And it's built in layers. Uh, because it's a liquid lipstick, the, the liquid carrier is a cosmetic grade alcohol, meaning that Sometimes if you've got dry lips, you can feel a little tingle when you start to apply it. That will go away as soon as you put our gloss on. So it is a two-part process, meaning that you apply the color in, your, in the layers, and then to set it, you seal it with our gloss. The reason I'm running through all of this before I start putting it on my lips is because it's kind of hard to talk because you don't want to press your lips together whilst you're applying it. The reason that is is because until it's sealed with the gloss, it wants to bond to itself. Meaning that if I press my bottom lip and my top lip together with lip sense on it that hasn't been set, like so, it's going to want to bond to itself, meaning that my lips aren't going to want to separate. So I will attempt to walk you through the process whilst uh, mumbling my way through without pressing my lips together, but I'm also going to try and hold off from talking too much. Okay, so Coral Ice. That's the colour we're putting on today. Give it a good shake. As you can probably hear, there is a ball bearing in there to make sure that the pigment is adequately and evenly distributed throughout the liquid. So it's really important to shake your lip sense, making sure that it, you do get an even uh, application, especially if it's been sitting for a while. If the colour sat for a while, make sure you give it a really good shake. Uh, because it's applied in layers, you want to apply them thinly. You want three thin layers. That's going to be your uh, best bet for even coverage. So when I say thin, I mean I would like to see you wiping down your applicator before you apply. Now, oh hello, who's on? Sending me love. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm seeing comments actually, by the way, because I can't see any. If you're, if you're on, type one so that I can see if the comment's working. So this is the applicator for Lip Sense. As you can see, it's got an angled tip, meaning that you can use it as a liner um, by just using the tip. All right, so, hey Maddie. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go in with our first layer, let that dry, go in with our second layer, let that dry. Hey, Daniela. Yes, I know. I'm very excited. I dropped off to the lovely Steph last night. Okay, and that's actually one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is so that she can see application. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go in for my first layer. And you, so it's very counterintuitive because it's the opposite of how you would apply regular lipstick in that you don't go back and forth and you don't 
press your lips together. All right, let's go. So I lined and then filled in, lined and then filled in. Might look like I went back over, but I was actually um, filling in separate spaces. Okay, so that's our first layer. And I always just do a touch test and it will be tacky if it's still wet, but it all feels dry to me. So I'm gonna go with our second layer and I'm gonna use my mirror, which is just over to the side here. Okay, second layer, let that dry. And as you can see, the color is starting to build. Alrighty. Final layer. Cleaning off the applicator so it's a nice thin layer. How amazing is this color? Look at it, it's so orange. Okay, so I always let that final layer dry a little bit more than the previous layers before I pop the gloss on. A little bit longer on the dry time. But how incredible is this color? So this is coral ice, as I was saying earlier, has been discontinued, but I have my hands on a few tubes. If you need one, let me know. All right, so let me just go in with the gloss. And look at that. Completely clean applicator because I waited for it to dry. So now that I have sealed it with the gloss, I can do this and press my lips together and it's not going to go anywhere. And then watch this. Clean finger. completely clean. The only thing coming off is the gloss. And that's just coming off on my fingers. So the gloss is Shea Butter Vitamin E, so it's really hydrating. It's going to help repair your lips. So when you're doing your full face starter kit, so remember that we've got the color correcting tinted moisturizer in there. You've got the color of your choice and the gloss and the remover because you're going to need the remover as well to help you take it off or clean up any mistakes you might make. So Full lip scent starter kit and uh, face kit. Um, and then the last products are our eye products. So this is Mocha Java, which is one of our Shadow Sense colors. Shadow Sense is a cream to powder eyeshadow, essentially. Um, and you can either apply it directly with the, with the wand. Maybe don't throw it on the floor because... That's not going to be helpful, but you can either apply it directly with the wand or you can pick the product up with your brush like so. And because it's a cream to powder product, it doesn't fall out underneath your eyes when you're applying it. It sets um, and then doesn't budge once it's turned to the powder. It's amazing stuff. All right, so because I want to show you the versatility of the product, this is Mocha Java. I use it in my eyebrows. I use it as a... Uh, contour product it's amazing really versatile all right so i'm going to look in my mirror over here and use this mocha java on a brush to do my eyebrows give them nice definition it's a heavily pigmented product so you only need a little bit to go a long way Look at that. Okay, next one. How's everyone's morning been so far? Everyone had enough coffee today? I know that there's not enough coffee in the world for me today, so I'm going to go and get another one after this video is finished. 
Okay, eyebrows are done because again, this is just a day look. <laughs> I don't know how many other people use a bright orange lipstick for their just day look, but hell, have you seen my hair? It's gonna be a thing. Alrighty, next, pro next thing I'm gonna use this one for is, I'm gonna use it as just a nice light liner. Because again, it's just a mid-range brown, so it's just adding a little bit more definition to my eye there. Can you see how that's working out there? I love our shadow sensors. I use them for everything. We've got um, these skin tone coloured shadow sensors, which are really good for um, concealing and highlighting. We've got, so I'm just going to go in with. A couple of dots like so, a couple of dots like so, and then you can either use a shader brush, uh, not a shader brush, a buffing brush like so, or if you don't have brushes or you don't like using brushes, you can actually just go in with your fingers to pat that out, and it just blends beautifully because it's that cream, and you've got about a minute to work with it before the cream sets, and once it's set, it's pretty budge proof too. <laughs> Might go in with a little bit more on the other side. Make it nice and even. Super forgiving, especially if you get to it nice and quickly. And give it a nice little move around until it sets. Beautiful. Okay, and then check this out. Come in. Probably don't need that much for a daytime contour, but just to show you the versatility. No, I probably used way too much. But that's okay. Like I said, you can totally move it around. I'm just going to have crisp as cheekbones today. Look at that contour. That's impressive, right? Look at that. Oh yeah. And if you go over too much, I'll show you. So I'm going to just... Do the same on this side, come in under here, again probably too much but I may as well do them evenly today. So we're just moving that in and see how beautifully it just blends down. It's lovely and always blend up into your hairline as well, up into the hairline. And so because I probably contoured too much for a daytime look, I'll just go back in again with a little bit of my colour correcting tinted moisturiser, like so to just give it a little bit of a more natural look, like so. There we go. Beautiful. And so the look's coming together. If I wanted to make it a little bit more dramatic, I might go back in again with the um, wand, like so. Just like line my lids. Give it a little bit more definition. So I've just used this one product, this one Shadow Sense colour, to create this whole face look for today. And then finally, so Shadow Sense of your choice also goes in the Full Face Starter Kit. Pop it in the bag. And then the final product in the Full Face Starter Kit is our mascara. So you can either buy a single mascara, which is just the mascara colour, so obviously it would be a full tube of that. And they come in black or brown black, um, which is lovely. But I highly recommend getting the duo, which is this one here, uh, because it has a lash builder on the other end. So this lash builder is made from volcanic ash, and it is incredible. It I can't normally wear those fiber lengthening um, mascaras because the fibers fall off, fall in my eyes, and then it I get all hell, kinds of hell for the rest of the day. Uh, but this one stays put, and it has uh, lash building products in it as well, which means that it is incredibly nourishing for your lashes as well so you're not going to find that it's making your lashes brittle and um want to come off which will break which i was finding with some of my past mascaras this mascara doesn't budge you're gonna need makeup remover to get it off it's not going to come off it's waterproof it's staying on so if you want a mascara that stays on through i've seen people wear them on marathons exercising swimming this mascara doesn't budge you want a mascara let me know these bad boys are where it's at. 
Okay, so I go in with the Lash Builder, which is this grey product on the other end. And just apply liberally to all of my... I only do my upper lashes with the Lash Builder. I don't really need longer lower lashes. And then I come in with this end. So I'm using the brown black today because it is our daytime daytime look daytime daytime look so I didn't need super drama I was just wanting to have nicely defined lashes so look at that are you seeing the difference here look at the difference just and that's just one coat I can go back in again with multiple coats and with our black so does that help I don't know if what if I look down like this look at the difference between those two I'm going to assume you're looking at the difference because I've got my eyes closed. But you can go in with multiple layers to really, really build that look. It's lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right. Other eye. Does anyone have any questions whilst I'm sitting here doing this? Type your questions whilst I'm applying my mascara and I'll have a look at them once I've finished here. So that is a quick run through of the full face starter kit. So again, it has a foundation or tinted moisturizer of your choice. I recommend the tinted moisturizer because it is incredibly versatile and you can actually layer the tinted moisturizer with our foundation as well to get even more coverage. Uh, so foundation skin product of your choice, so foundation or tinted moisturizer. Um, then you get a shadow sense of your choice. I usually recommend a brown or a black because you can use them so versatile, they're so versatile. Uh, mascara and a lip sense kit of your choice. All in a cute little makeup bag, like so. And this I sell for $195. It retails, if you bought all of those things separately, for $225. So it's a saving of $30. And it is a great way to get your hands on all of the bits and pieces you need to get started. If you have already purchased a Lip Sense starter kit from me, so you already have the gloss and the remover, uh, I recommend grabbing a different gloss and we can take the remover out and it'll only cost you $185. So if any of you would like to walk through picking the different pieces for the full face starter kit, shoot me a message or comment or I can come over if you're Bendigo local and then you can play with the products and try them on. Uh, but otherwise, unless no one has any questions, I think I'm going to wrap it up because I am now ready to go and do my deliveries for the day. If you want to order anything, I am doing deliveries today, so shoot me a message and if you're a Bendigo local, you can get it today. Awesome. Well, have a most excellent day, guys. I'm going to go fix my hair before I go anywhere. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.